In this video, I'm going to show you how to create web pages using a computer language called HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So what is Hypertext Markup Language? Well, it's like a foreign language that only computers speak and that web browsers like Internet Explorer or Firefox translate into our language. So just imagine, if you will, that I'm teaching you a foreign language. Bonjour, bienvenue à de Tinkernut didacticiale video. Just like every other language in the world, HTML has a set of grammar rules that it has to follow in order to be understood. Without these rules or protocols, it would just be gibberish. Je suis je bon et à fromage. So here's today's grammar lesson for HTML. To get started, I've created a folder on my desktop called My Web Page, and inside that I've got another folder called Images where I'm going to keep all the images for the web page. Now what you want to do is open up Notepad if you have Windows or TypePad if you have a Mac. Now, I'm actually going to be using Notepad++, which you can download for free at the URL below. And it's a little bit better for programming because it keeps the code organized and color coordinated and things like that. But the first thing you want to do is go to File and Save As and save this as an HTML document in your project folder. And you want to call it index.html and make sure the Save As type is set to all types and click Save. Now just go into your project folder and double click on index.html and it should open up a blank web browser. Just slide this over to the right hand side of the screen and put the notepad on the left hand side of the screen. Now the first thing you want to know about coding in HTML is that everything has to be tagged so that the web browser knows what it's looking at. And to tag something, uh, it takes basically the same format for everything. And that format is uh, less than sign, whatever you're wanting to tag, and then a greater than sign. And the closing tag is less than sign, a forward slash, whatever you're wanting to tag, and then the greater than sign. So I just did one for an HTML to tell the web browser this is an HTML document. I'm also going to create one for a uh, header, which is the header of the web page, gives information about the web page. And I'm also going to create tags for the body of the web page. And this is where all the links and pictures would go. Now, if you go in between the header tags, you can put title tags so that you can title your web page. And in between the title tags, just type whatever you want to call your web page in between those tags. Now in between the body tags is where we're going to put the content of the web page. And what I just created was a paragraph tag, which is just the letter P. And in between those paragraph tags, I'm just going to type a sentence that I want to appear on the web page. Now if you click save and refresh, it should show uh, not only the sentence that you typed, but if you look at the top of the web browser, it should have the title of the web page. If you go to view and page source, it will show you all the HTML that you just typed out. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this sentence three more times and I'm going to show you how to format them. To format in bold, you want to use the bold tag, which is simply the letter B. For italics, it's the letter I. And for underline, it's the letter U. So if you put those tags around any text, it's going to format them. So if you save and refresh your browser, you should see the formatting. The next thing I'm going to do is show you heading tags, which uh, is portrayed by H1 through H6. H1 creates the largest font header. H6 is the smallest. So I just did four of those headers. And you can see the different, uh, the different size fonts. This is a break tag. Notice that it doesn't have a closing tag. It's just BR and that creates a line break, break in between two texts. The next thing I'm going to do is center all the text. To do that, just use the tag center and uh, put, create a closing tag wherever you want it to end and that will center the text in the middle of the web page. Next thing I'm going to do is create lists. So I'm typing out a couple things that I want in a list. And I'm going to create an organized list. So that's denoted by the tag 
O-L. And for each item in the list, you need to put the list item tag, which is L-I. Put, that, put those around each item that you want listed. And if you click save and refresh, you'll notice that it creates a numbered list. If you don't want it numbered, just change the O-L to U-L for unorganized list, and that will create a bullet for it. Now to create a table, just use the table tags, and the table has to have two things, a row and a column. The row is denoted by TR for table row, and the column is denoted by TD for table data column. And a table has to have at least one of those. And you can copy and paste uh, the columns for however many you want, or you can copy and paste the row and column to create a second row. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take this list information and put the header in the first row column, and I'm gonna put the uh, 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 list information in the second row column. So I'm gonna save it and refresh it. Notice that it looks the same. We don't have any attributes added to the table yet. Attributes give you a way to customize each tag, and to find out what attribute goes to a tag, you can go to htmlhelp.com and just do a search for whatever tag you wanna find the attributes for. So here's all the attributes that can go with the table tag. You can do alignment, background color, width, things like that. So I'm going to align it to the center, change the border width to 1, and change the table width to 300. So now if we save it and refresh the page, now the table has an outline and it's centered. So the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, go to YouTube and I'm going to copy and paste a couple of videos as opposed to using the list. So there's one video and I'm going to copy this entire row and create a third row and paste a different video in here. So now if we save it and refresh the web page, I got the title of the list and two videos beneath it in separate rows. So that's how you can add YouTube videos to your web page. Now I'm going to add some attributes to the body. I'm going to add a background color. And when you deal with colors in HTML, it's best to use the hex value. So if you go to colorpicker.com, you can choose what color you like, and it will give you the corresponding hex value that you can then paste into your HTML. So we're going to use a background color of gray and a text color of white. And now I'm going to add a link. To do that, you want to use the anchor tag, which is the letter A, and then space href equals, and then in quotations, you want to put the link that you're linking to. And then use the greater than sign to close out the first part of that tag. And then type the text that you want linked, and then close out the anchor tag by using forward slash A. Now if you save it and refresh your web page, you should now see all the changes that we've made as well as a working link. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to add an image. And to add an image, you need to use the image tag, which is IMG for image. And then you want to use the source attribute, SRC, and set that equal to the picture location. If it's on the web, it will be HTTP colon whatever. Um, but if it's in a generalized location, if it's in a specific location, you want to find where your web page is and then use the picture location in correspondence with where the web page is. So in correspondence with the web page, my picture is located in the images folder and then the name of the picture. So that's what I'm going to put as the location. And you want to make sure you get the folders exactly right. And just like the break tag, the image tag does not require a closing tag. And now I'm going to go back to the body attributes and add a background image. Um, and again, you want to make sure you have the folder director directory correct within uh, the image location. Now if we save it and preview our web page, it should have all the pictures. Now what you want to do is upload this to the internet. There's several free uh, website hosters out there. My favorite is awardspace.com because it doesn't use any ads. So you can sign up for a free account with them and once you do and you go to the members area you should see a page like this and you want to go to FTP manager and create an FTP account. FTP stands for file transfer protocol and what we're going to use that for is to transfer our files from our computer to the web page. So now, the, now we'll need an FTP client 
uh, to do this since we have an FTP account. All right, and you want to go to FileZilla-Project.org and download FileZilla. And once you start FileZilla up, just add a new site and uh, I'm going to call this Tinkernut FTP and your host name will be the username you created dot awardspace dot com and you want to set the logon type to normal and change the username to the FTP username you created as well as uh, the password that you created and when you can click connect it should connect to your website and now all you have to do is drag your index.html file there and drag your images folder there and uh, now when you visit uh, your username on that website it should show up so um, uh, mine was tinkernut.awardspace.com if you don't like that if that's too long for and you want a top level domain the best way to get a free version of that is to go to .tk which is this website and sign up for a free URL with them so instead of tinkernut.awardspace.com it's going to be tinkernut.tk and, uh, and that makes it very short alright well that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com